Hi friends, this is Guna. Today I would like to share with you that is depression grading. How to do the depression grading by using the virtual labs? I think you know the virtual labs. So the importance of the virtual labs is nowadays it is increasing. Why? Because it is very difficult to do the all the experiments or any experiment for a number of times in our laboratory for the time being. Okay, other uh, equipment, uh, lack of equipment. Okay, so this virtual labs giving us a real time experience to gain a knowledge. And also, as we know that experiment, uh, sorry, experience comes while doing the experiment. Okay, so regarding that one, today I would like to uh, introduce this lab that is especially on optics lab okay so uh, what is the website we have to log in is www dot w dot v lab v lab virtual lab v lab dot co dot in so after once if you are uh, type that one in a uh, browser or a uh, address bar so automatically you will get this type of home base there are so many fields of virtual labs are available biotechnology chemical science physical science computer science electronics like that here now i am logging for physical science okay physical science in the physical science also there are different fields are we have that means mechanics optics uh their modern mix like that now i would like to uh, do the experiments related to the optics and also under actually i would like to do the experiment that is the diffraction grating uh, that's why I have chosen the diffraction uh, optics lab, optics virtual lab. Optics is the study of behavior of the properties of light, including its interactions. So this is the introduction you may learn there. And what are the main features in the virtual lab? I would like to show that uh, I have chosen the diffraction grating. So once you click the diffraction grating experiment, there is a window open like theory, procedure, self-evaluation, simulation, assignment reference books and also the feedback so first one if you click the theory so in this field you can get the aim that means what we have to calculate okay next uh, operators to do that experiment what are the operators required theory that means the theoretical knowledge also given there in detail explanation is also there just if you read it you can gain the knowledge and then after if you click the procedure how to do this experiment how to do this experiment also step by step explanation is also given there if you read that one definitely you can do you can learn how to do the experiment okay uh, there is a procedure real lab okay what are the operators we have uh, how to use them these are all the things they're available then after self evaluation that means we have to test ourselves how much of knowledge already we have uh, that means uh, before the experiment we can test after the experiment we will test that means uh we will get the knowledge from this experiment for example randomly i am clicking here radial buttons the wavelength of green light is example 546 and the, what is the de path reference that is b what is the diffraction what is the a diffraction pattern okay uh so randomly I'm clicking diffraction arises as a result of superposition of secondary wavelets like that. A point source produces a spherical wavefront. Okay, submitted. So after submitted my uh, information data, so I got out of uh, five months, four months I got. So uh, maybe there is the answer I have I put random. Next. Okay, after that, there is a button that is simulation. To do these simulations, we should log in with your mail id login already i have my registration is completed that's why i am logging here okay login directly i am logging to enable this simulation simulations just we have to uh, install a, a flash player okay i have already installed it because of that one directly i got this spectrometer now i will tell you how to do the experiment in detail here okay just first what we need to do, do to do this experiment we have to first focus the telescope to the distant object so here this is a collimator this is a telescope prism table 
okay a circular scale everything is there you can observe just you can observe here uh, the distance image is not uh, observing clearly we need to focus that we need to focus that regarding that one there is a a feature given us that is just you can observe here the start button is not enabled suppose if we, if i am moving like this the cursor automatically the distant object is a little bit we are observing okay yes so start that means you have focused the slit to the distant object very clear man suppose if you are going okay it will once again disable so this is the exact position to focus the telescope start okay just you can observe here there is a light in front of the collimator so this is the uh, that means view from the eyepiece that means telescope okay just you can observe here nothing is there once switch on light you can observe the lighting but the intensity is not that much of clear now we have to focus the slit the slit should be as much as possible narrow and also the fine just look at it yes i got that slit and the slit width is also we can increase so the width is increasing actually for performing this experiment the slit should be as much as possible narrow and also the fine okay is it in a, a vertical cross by no we need to adjust that one uh, regarding that one just just you can observe here change angle in the telescope uh, just move it okay 89.7 okay uh, 89.7 actually 90 degrees we have to place that 90 degrees automatically the slit is on the vertical scale so regarding that for a fraction of uh, degrees you can use your keyboard okay yes 90 degrees exactly that is on the vertical cross wire of the uh, telescope now place a grating once again i am removing okay nothing is there if you click place the grating already grating uh, there now just you can observe here there is a uh, two scales are there okay just you can observe in the zoom so this here you can observe the zoom uh, the readings 0 180 uh, whatever the readings 0 to 360 we are calling them as a uh, main scale readings and above that there is a small scale is there 0 to 30 that is a vernier scale that means a spectrometer is also having a two scales main scale and vernier scale the least count we can uh, determine by using our formal least count equals to one main scale division by number of uh, vernier scale divisions so that is a one minute okay uh, to avoid the error there are two vernier's we are using in our experiment so like this now uh, normal incidence method for example if you want to do the normal incidence method first you can rotate the uh, telescope towards your left hand side or right hand side with a 90 degrees angle so once 90 degrees angle means here uh, it should be uh, 270 degrees that means i need to just move yeah 270 automatically another side 090 Yes, 0, 90. It is already. Okay. Now, rotate the grating table. Grating towards the telescope up to 45 degrees angle. Just you can observe. So, opposite. No, that is not correct. So, this side. Yeah, 44. By using the keyboard, it has to be placed. 45. Okay. Just you can observe there. So, actually here reading is 44.47 okay the slit is not on the vertical cross width just whenever it is reaches the 45 automatically it is also the light rays coming from the i'm oh, sorry the rays coming from the so collimator is incidenting on our grating and reflecting from the grating and we can uh, observing from the telescope once again you can rearrange the telescope as 0, 180 like this okay this is 87 degrees only ninety degrees now we can rotate the vernier table 45 degrees angle that means vernier table 
opposite direction to the previous one. Yes, this is the correct position. This is the normal incidence position. So in the normal incidence position, if you observe the readings as uh, that means uh, 135, that is 135. And uh, another side is 315. If the if zero is reached the 315, yeah, that is three in between the uh, 310 and 320, the zero is coincided, that means 315. This is the normal incidence position. From we, uh, now, we can take the readings from the left side or right side. Just you can rotate the, uh, turn your telescope towards the left. Just we are observing a beautiful spectrum there. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, like that. That is a first order spectrum at one side. That means left side. Suppose if we are calling. This is right side. Both sides, if we are observed, automatically we can st uh, start the reading. So now I am focusing that ray to the yellow color. Okay, uh, that means our aim is first I would like to know the uh, that is uh, greeting element. Okay, regarding that one, I have focused that one to the yellow color light. Yellow color light. Okay, here my dear friends, I am randomly uh, noting the readings. Okay, just you can observe here the veneer one is. In between the 110 and 120, that is 115. Okay, 115, not 115, before 115, that means 113.5 degrees. 113. Point, uh, here you can change the color. That is which color? Yellow. Yellow. Wavelength is 5893. Order is first order spectrum. Here, how much we got here? One thirteen point five. With the coincidence, also I am noting the reading that is one thirteen point six. That means with the total coincidence, I am uh, noting this readings with in only degrees only, not in minutes or anything else. Okay, and right side, right side is. 294 that means 293.5 okay this side also 293.7 uh, okay so that is the uh, vernier on left side and right side now you can turn the telescope towards the other side once again you need to focus there to the yellow color light yes now that is coincided with the vertical cross wire and the readings Zero is in between 150 to the 160, and before 150, the reading is nearby 154.5. 154.5. And opposite side, that is right side. Three thirty three thirty four point five three thirty four point five. Suppose if you are substituted all those automatically, you can get the value of n. Okay, you no need to do the calculations individually. Now you can take that uh, reading. That means by using that one, uh, the color that is green color. 
the grading element, whatever you got here, that is directly you can copy it and paste there. And now you can focus that uh, to the green color. First, which color? Green color. Okay. And to determine the wavelength of the green color. Approximately, I am taking here readings. Okay, that was focused. When year zero is nearly one fifteen. When year zero is nearly one fifteen, one fifteen, and approximately, I am adding the uh, when year coincidence, the main scale reading. Sorry, the um, okay. Approximately, I am adding that, and the right hand side. That is a uh, two ninety five point five, two ninety five point five. Almost the angle between those two is one eighty degrees. I think we know. And right side, you can bring your telescope towards your right side. Once again, you can focus to the green color. Yes, that is. Now the readings. When year zero. One seventy. Yes, one seventy four point five. And another side. One fifty in between one fifty and oh, sorry three fifty, uh three fifty five, three fifty five, uh three fifty five or three fifty four point five, three fifty four point five. So finally, we can get the value that is the uh, the wavelength of that. Uh, it is in the nano. Matters so like that we will do the experiment. After that there is a assignment given for us. Okay, that means there are some questions given. If you learn that, automatically we can get the a uh, total information, total knowledge related to that. What are the references and what are the books we need to prepare? And finally the feedback. Suppose if you have any feedback, you have to give it uh, directly. You can write it on that and you can submit. So this is the a uh, procedure to. Uh, do the experiments by using the uh, virtual labs. We love that code at in. So suppose if you have any queries or any comments, please leave in my uh, comment box. Thank you.